Thank you very much for uh, being here today. I really appreciate uh, the support uh, that you've shown by, uh, by coming here today. What I'd like to do in the next 10 minutes, which is quite a challenge for uh, so many years of work, uh, in 10 minutes tell you a bit about leadership in project-based organizations, the studies I did around this, and specifically I'll zoom in on how these leaders in these contexts deal with complex and paradoxical demands. In project-based organizations, most of the work is organized, as you can imagine, in projects. And projects are, by their nature, temporary. So they have a beginning and they have an end, which, of course, changes the way in which people work in them. Also, these projects get instigated to solve some emergent problems. Um, and in these projects, a very uh, wide diversity of people will have to start working together. They, have, they come from different professional backgrounds, might be working for different organizations, might even be working in different parts of the world. And all of these people who might have never met each other before this project, all of a sudden have to come together and solve this new problem. And on top of that, in these projects, you see quite strongly that people have to deal with paradoxical demands. So for example, on the one hand, you might feel pressure to work in a very efficient way because you have these deadlines that you're working towards by this temporary nature. But on the other hand, uh, you also have to be flexible enough to deal with this emergent problem that you're trying to solve and all of the issues that keep popping up throughout the, the um, duration of your project. So to bring it all back together again, as I said, I've explored how leadership works in project-based organizations. And what you see in, in each of these themes is that leaders use different types of strategies, practices, and narratives in order to try and deal with this context. And they do this in quite a paradoxical and adaptive way.